I just bought a DJ controller for £98 and I'm gonna see how good it is and if you really need to be spending a lot of money on DJ controllers. Right, so here we have the new Mark Party Mix DJ controller. Now, this controller is cheap as anything. Like, there's a lot of DJ controllers out there that are like £250, £1,000. The CDJs that are club standard are like £5,000. It's a lot of money, but I wanna see if DJs can pick up a controller for less than £100 and still actually DJ with it. So we're gonna open this up, see what's in the box. We're gonna connect it up to Serato DJ Pro. We're gonna try and mix a few songs and see if it's any good. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it linked in the description down below. If you're a brand new DJ, you can pick this up and start learning how to DJ. So what we're gonna do is open up the box. So inside the box, obviously, you've just got your standard manual and stuff. So let me just take this out here. So if I just open this up. Ooh, take that out. So there's nothing else in the ball. Hang on. There's a, I think mean, there's the USB cable in there. So what I'm going to do is take away the box. So we have the cable here and then we've got the, um, got the controller here. It's tiny, as you can tell, like my keyboard here is literally the same size. Um, you know what? It's not bad, you know, like it's quite, I mean, it does feel like a toy. It's a lot cheaper, obviously, because it's less than a hundred pounds, but not bad, you know? So let's see what we've got on here. So we've got the jog wheels. The jog wheels are, do you know what? The jog wheels ain't that bad. Jog wheels ain't that bad. So they're both all right. You've got your cube points here. They're just plastic, so they're not that great. Obviously on my like S9, they're rubber and they're a little bit bigger, but this is all right. And then we've got the sync button, the Q button, the play button, the tempo sliders here. There's not a lot of range on here, but it's not that bad. You've got the crossfader here, which is, well, you know what? The crossfader isn't that bad on here. Then you've got the channel faders. I think this in the middle, this is the, um, the headphone volume. So at the moment it's a minimum. That's a maximum. You've got your filter knob here. Then you've got a treble knob here. And, oh, hang on. So hang on, no. So you've got a bass knob here, treble knob here. Oh, so you've only got lows and mids on this. You don't have any highs, um, which ain't that bad. I think when I'm, when I'm mixing, I don't really use the highs too much. So for a beginner DJ controller and something that's less than a hundred pound, it's probably not that important. So we're all good. So yeah, so we have our trim volumes up here. So we're gonna put that at 12 o'clock. Then we have the browse knob. Um, for Serato, you have load one and two. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Then obviously on the right hand side, it's the exact same as I just spoke about on here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look. So we have our, actually on the side here, let me just put it to the camera here. We have our headphone slot here, and then we've got the main output here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect this up to my computer. So I'm just gonna be using a Mac mini here, as you can see underneath here. And let's see how this goes. So in the packaging as well, we've just got a, um, an aux lead in here. So this is obviously gonna plug into here and it's going to go into um, like a speaker or something like that. And then here we've got the, um, the USB cable to connect the controller up to the uh, computer or the laptop if you're gonna be using a laptop. So at the moment, for less than a hundred pounds, you've got your DJ controller, you've got your, you've got your cables and stuff like that. So let's see if it actually works. So, so it comes with some Serato DJ Lite for free. It's a free software, but if you want to use um, Serato DJ Pro with this DJ controller, you are going to have to pay the subscription fee. I've already got it activated on my computer, so we're all good. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug this into the left-hand side here. Yep, that's in there. And then we're going to plug this into here. And then hopefully Serato should register it. Oh, <laughs> So you can see there already that it's lit up. So you can see here, new Mark Party Mix 2 is connecting up. So let's see if this connects up. I don't know if I have to install any drivers or anything, but hopefully Serato should do its thing. Oh, and there you go. So the DJ controller has connected to Serato DJ Pro. So at the moment, you can see now that the controller's on. It's got all nice, pretty lights on it. And also, I think on here, on this controller, it's got these party lights on here. So if I switch this on, I don't know, how does this work? Does this work? Oh, there you can see there, the lights there. <laughs> it's a cool little gadget. So there's a little, you can have a, you can have party time up in here, but obviously we're not really fussed about this. We're concentrating on if you can actually DJ with this controller. So what we're gonna do is in Serato DJ Pro, we're just gonna load up a track on the left-hand side. So actually, no, you know what? We're actually gonna use the controller for this. So what we can do is we can use the, um, we can use the browse knob to find our track. So we're gonna use the track, next episode, Hype Boy. So if we wanna load this onto deck one, we can just press this button here. 
and it works perfectly. So as you can see now on the left hand side onto here, you can see that the cue points have loaded up. So I've got three cue points on this track. So you can see here that Q.1, Q.2, Q.3. There's no sound coming out of this because I haven't connected to a speaker. Let's see if I can play this out of Serato. So hopefully, so that's all loaded on, that's, that's, now, that's now loaded on deck one. So you can see on the DJ controller that it's got three cue points checked. So you've got one, two, and three. And in my Serato, you can see that it's got three cue points. So if I wanna just run one of the cue points, that works as expected. That works as expected. We have cue points on the DJ controller. Um, let's just press play and just mess around with some of the uh, tempo sliders. So you can see that when I move the uh, tempo slider down, it works as normal. So at the moment, this is doing everything that a DJ controller needs to be doing and it's less than 100 pounds. So can you really learn and DJ on this thing? Let's try it out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just run one of these tracks. So let me just start this track from the start here. Let me actually, do you know what actually? Let me let me try the jog wheels because I like scratching on my DJ controllers. I like scratching on my CDJs. So let's see if this is actually good enough to scratch on. Ooh. Hang on, you know what? What is, why is that? Ooh. Hang on, this, this, this jog, hang on one second, one second, one second. What's happening here? Oh, there we go. Oh, I don't know what happened there, but the left jog wheel was acting a bit mad just then, but. All right. All right, the scratching ain't too bad on this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just try and mix this tune with another one. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna find another track um, for all the people on YouTube that's probably gonna come at me. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna mix it in the same key. So we're gonna load the track um, replay on the right hand side. So we have that track loaded up as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press play on track one and let's see if we can mix these two tracks together. If we can successfully mix these two tracks together, I don't see why this controller can't be used for beginner DJs to start learning how to, to DJ. Like for less than a hundred pounds, you can learn how to DJ. And if you really wanted to, you could take this to like a private party, maybe a birthday party of like 20, 30 people and DJ from it. So yeah, let me just press play and see what happens. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load up the track on the right hand side as well. Get that ready and I'm gonna match the BPMs. So the scratching ain't bad. Let's see if we can mix. I don't see any fault with this at the moment. I was able to mix two tracks together. Um, let's see what else this has on here. So you can see here, we've got a pad mode button. So if you click this, it changes it from, it changes it from hot cue to loop, to sample, to effect. So basically if you have effects in Serato, I don't know what effect this would be actually. Let me have a look. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna, we're gonna mix the same track, but we're gonna use the echo effect. So let me just use echo, where is it here? So basically when we're, when, when we're gonna mix, we're gonna turn this up. I don't know how great this is gonna sound, but yeah. So basically when we wanna do the echo, it will do that. So what I'm gonna have to do now, the annoying thing is on this controller is when I wanna use cue points again, I'm gonna have to change the pad mode. So I'm gonna have to click this. So now we're back at hot cue. So let's bring that track back to the start again. And then we're gonna bring this track on the right hand side to start again. Now we're gonna play this track on the left hand side. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna mix in the one on the right hand side. And then we're gonna echo out the track on the left hand side. If we can successfully do this on a 98 pound controller, like I said, people, I don't see why you can't go out and buy this for 98 pounds and learn how to DJ on it. So yeah, let's go.
The jog wheels ain't that great, so obviously if you wanna if you wanna get into scratching, it's gonna be it's gonna be a bit hard for you on here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this track in. So we're gonna change to effect. I don't know how this is gonna go. I'm not sure if that worked. Let me let me just try out the echo anyway. Hang on, let me just run this. So basically, it's a crossfader. So what we're gonna do, let's let's try this again then. So, and also you can see here that we're doing four beats. So that was never gonna work. So let's do that half beat and let's try that mix again. So pad mode, pop cue at the start, and then let me just let me just listen to it first. So we're gonna change the effect. Okay, okay, so you can do channel fader post effects. So we're good, we're good. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna try it again. So hot cue. Load that track up. Load this track on the right hand side. Right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna try and mix the track and try echo it out. Right, so we're gonna change this to effect. So there we have it. We have just mixed two tracks on a 98 pound DJ controller. Now, as a DJ, it is, it is overwhelming when you first start. You, you're, you jump into this DJ thing and the first thing people say to you is you need to get DJ equipment. You Google DJ equipment and the first thing that comes up is CDJs, which are 5,000 pounds. And you don't know what to get. You don't know whether to spend the 500 pounds. You don't know what DJ controller to get because there's loads out there. Now, if you just want to try out DJ, and I'll say this to every single DJ, don't go and spend a fortune at the start of your DJ career because you might not even like it. Spend 98 pounds on something like this and try out DJ and see if you actually like it. If you like DJ on this small controller, 98 pound controller, then maybe upgrade afterwards. Now, I really hope this video was helpful for you. And, and if you are considering becoming a DJ, get this controller. I'm gonna leave the link to it down in the description down below. Buy it, it's only 98 pounds, right? If you don't like it, it's not too much to worry about. Like the money isn't that bad because you could go out and buy a thousand pound controller and you could not like DJ and then you're stuck with a thousand pound bill, do you understand? But 98 pounds, you can't go wrong. Now that you've watched this video, check this video out here.